Welcome to my mixtape. Welcome to my vibe. Welcome to my stories. And I'm just so glad to be alive because people be trying to kill you for nothing. Or is it for something? What something would that be? And what would that something have to do with me? That's why I love the fact that I actually have real creativity. Had it all my life. Ooh. I guess my mom and my dad knew I would have to go through this strife. Had I known this, would I pick this? No. That might be what chosen means, right? We know you can do this, but we know if we would tell you what you'd have to do, you really wouldn't want to do it. And that's true, because I'm a Pisces. And everybody likes to say, I'm a Pisces this, and I'm a Pisces that, but they don't know this Pisces. That's a fact. But anyway, maybe this mixtape can help you remedy that. But if you can't think, it won't. <laughs> Cause things should seem so simple, yet they're so cloudy. And people be wanting to act all rowdy around me. Not realizing that I am an MB, a military brat, which means I might be a little unstable because I really do have PTSD. And I'm not talking that Nepo anxiety that these rich or so called fake ass. You know what? I don't care. Let it be what it be. I'm in my happy place, in my happy space, starting with me. And please don't put your judgments, your narratives, and whatever name or label you call God, that has nothing to do with me. I have proven, number one, your health is your wealth. And truly, I must know who my God and goddess be. Because, I mean, in the words of Blackpink, (laughs) look at you and look at me. Uh. Listen to the tape. With your good ears this time. I'm sick with this. I'm sick with this. I'm sick with this. Poisonous paragraph, smash your phonograph in half. I be the soul system gal on the warpath. First class, leaving mics in a cast, causing ruckus like the aftermath when guns blast. blast run fast, here comes a verbal assault to rhymes, rolling around like a child in a walker. I be the cold stalker on the microphone. Time to put him in check or just leave it alone. So tired of this gorilla madness, wanna battle me, bring it on. I'm spitting and I'm hitting like my name should be Raekwon. Guillotine, sword, sharp as a samurai. Today is a damn good day for you to die if you are my enemy. I told you don't bother me, but now I don't really give a damn what you say to me. Cause like the black mama, I'm about to devour. Rain and dope rhymes like a media shower. And when they ask you verbally carved, you turn to stone. And when they ask you verbally carved, you turn to stone. And when they ask you verbally carved, you tombstone. Get it right, motherfucker, the name is Val Jones. I'm sick with this. As the ink dripped down, words bled from a page because the rage it got so great. The taste of blood from another started to make her salivate in her mind. The hate she was trying to put behind her beckoned her, taunted her, coaxed her to dive into the fires of hell, doing something she's always known how to do well, and that was fight. But tonight, she wished for another way to prevail. Still teased by the whispers of the vile, her outer demon smiled. As her rage raised like a hot summer day on a cool eve, her inner angel trying to balance out her conflicted nature urged her to breathe as she seethed. How dare they not take heed? How dare they defile my temple of thoughts and pick fruit from my Eden without asking, then trashing, smashing, crashing my serenity with their arrogance, ignorance, insolence, and now violence? She's sick with this! Her body became tense from the ungrateful evidence that stood before her, and she confronted it head on, saying, You, you would violate me, the one who could have helped to set you free? But instead, jealousy and misery is all you see, and because misery loves company, you take out the sword to draw the first line in the sand, then attempt to kiss my hand, saying, Hey, it's all love, as you steal a blow and swing to draw first blood. Swish! Swish! (laughs) 
and missed. Now it's my turn. Do I resist to take off the head of this demon and have you screaming like a fallen foe from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Stiletto Warrior, part-time savior, and in this game of life, trust, I am a chosen and formidable player. But tonight, I choose to fight differently. Tonight, I choose to change the game. Things from this point on will never be the same. If pain is what you so strongly desire and require, then I'm obliged to fulfill your requests and trust. I can make you bleed and my hands can still be left bloodless. Watch. As with a flick of my wrist, I deliver the kiss of death. So let a warrior going stealth with my swish and I won't miss. Not even having to use my fists, already you're feeling the hit as I stick and don't quit. So don't play with me, trick. I'm sick with this. I'm sick with this. Words bled from the page as she channeled her rage. She had seen so many dark days, but she was tired of those old dark ways. Besides, it seems folks never really paid attention to her anyway, or else they would not have engaged her in such foolish child's play. So easy would be for her to end their life today, but that was not her God's way. So hearing thee say to walk away and let me have my say, she decided to come back to the light and write instead. Because she's sick with it. I'm sick with this. People are always talking about Val Jones. Val, Val Jones, Jones this. Val Jones that. She's just too much. Too she has much. too much mouth. Too much passion. Too, too much, much knowledge. Too much attitude. <gasps> too much. What? Maybe it's just that you are not enough. Well, besides, I like my attitude. Yes. I've got an attitude that makes me do the things that I do. Got an attitude with these pimps, preachers, and politicians who are always on a mission selling a pack of lies to keep their hoes, people, and victims unhealthy, unwealthy, and unwise. You insinuate your own agendas into our everyday affairs, then try to convince us how much you care about yourself. Apparently, because your agenda does nothing for me. With your hands so deep in our pockets, we can hardly walk. Is it just me, or is all you ever do is talk? talk. While living sublime on the swine, high on the hog for some of y'all, eating cheese and drinking wine, I'm supposed to bust my body and soul for your kind, wondering if I'll ever get mine. Then I realize in your system of spiritual disaster that there must only be one master, and that must be you. But these lessons I've learned have taught me a thing or two, and I've mastered the art of detachment. Because around you, I realize I will never truly rise. Yes, players and fakers and frauds I do despise, and that's why. I've been to It makes me do the things that I do. Yes, I've got an attitude with my brothers and sisters and press oh my, who are always throwing around some shit like flies. They come buzzing in and starting some mess of what some good brother or sister left behind. Sometimes, mm, I wonder why my people are so blind. Brothers sleeping with other brothers' wives, sisters trying to steal other sisters' lives. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but what does it take to raise a village? Love and unity, I bet. But some of you don't seem to want that as of yet. Instead of bonding together and being strong, you'd rather rape, rob, and pillage your own. Taking out your frustrations and personal aggravations on me when, like Malcolm and Martin and Ida B., all I was doing was showing love. Excuse a brother or sister for giving a damn. I guess that's why I am now the way that I am. Because you have got me feeling like Dorothy and Oz, clicking my heels and trying to get home because this is no place for me. When everywhere I turn, I see flying monkeys and munchkins on crack. Thank God, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion got my back. Time to get this train back on the track. And drama kings and queens with their crap need not apply for this ride. Because niggas and bitches and flies I do despise. And that's why I've got an attitude. I've got an attitude. 
got an attitude of heritage for my people and love for my mothers. I've got an attitude of respect for my fathers and loyalty to my brothers. I've got an attitude of admiration for my sisters and protection for my nation. I've got an attitude of pride for myself for positively overcoming any bullshit situation. I've got an attitude of love for the truth and hatred for lies. I've got an attitude and I get stronger each day I survive. So if you find my attitude is just a little too much for you for a minute just step in my shoes and realize that I've grown tired of folks who come to me with their lies in disguise. Yes, I've got an attitude and I'm damn Damn proud proud of it. it. so well. Funny how people see the light, but they don't understand the reason I shine so bright is because I've touched the fires of hell tonight. People say they want to be like me, yet they run from the light, purposely blinded by all the fire I've had to absorb to shine in the sky. Niggas and crackers and bitches and bastards and lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Those who would attempt to steal my soul, my air, my life, my might, then lie. Like they are the chosen ones. I wish you were, so you could take on all this hell I've had to endure and feel your wings constantly singed. And to make matters worse, you pretend to be my friend, all the time plotting my end, like Peter, like Judas, damn. Well, okay, and you know what they say, that jealousy is a bitch, and God knows a bitch ass motherfucker ain't nothing but a trick. This crown is on my head for a reason, and this life you claim you're season four, you ain't ready for what's in store. Tried and tested and tested and tried, I can't tell you how many times I've been crucified and cried to be released from this purgatory stuck between the raging fires of hell and the blessed righteousness of God. Father, please ascend me for this job is too hard. And then, like a phoenix, I rise again to fight another day and see if I can survive without falling prey to my dark side. Oh, don't try me, because the next time I might not listen to God when he says vengeance is mine and instead open up my own can of whoop pass for your behind. Whoop that trick, whoop that trick. I told you that I'm not the bitch to fuck with. Still that a warrior with a big stick and trust I come equipped and legit. Born of Jehovah and Shekinah fire, destined to shine and inspire. And for over two thousand years, these whack ass niggas have aspired to be me. But to think you can do what I do, nigga, please. Every night I ask the creator, why me, Lord? I'm tired. Can I come home now? He says, no, baby, not yet, because there are still some you need to show how. And as you know, it is my will that must be done. And while I'm free-falling to the calling, I ask thee, why am I the one you consider worthy? And the answer's back, because you are the one who hurt me. So I pick myself up off my knees, reverse the degrees, and with an S on my chest, God is my best. I give thanks for being blessed to withstand the test of mankind and time, praying that I can stay focused on the divine. Time to be and let me claim my destiny and let the shit hit the fan. And if you're wondering, can I save you? Of course I can, but I won't. Cause daddy says, that's your job. Now do it yourself. of deception and denial. Life is a trial to determine if you are innocent or guilty of the attempted murder of love. And I stand as prosecutor and defendor and neither, for I have no stake in it anymore. 
I've opened my own door to shine the light that my blood needs. No longer shall I or my children bleed for nothing. I, we bring something and you bring what? My point. Stiletto warriors, sister soldiers, smile so innocent, spirit much bolder, eyes much older to the ways of the world. This precious once oh so innocent pearl with a 357 magnum pin in her hand. Mortal man dare not mess with her, though many try, not realizing the masses of graves that lie behind her trail. Fools who fancy to fight her and fail. The tale, a tragic one indeed. For those who would attempt to make this stiletto warrior bleed, arrogance, ignorance, injustice, and greed are the only seeds she needs to heed, a longing to unsheathe. War is like the air she breathes. Love is what she would like to believe in. But in a world full of sin, few can comprehend the depths of her heart. Instead, attempts to break her in parts of pussy, prophet, pumps, and skin makes her angelic nature retreat within, releasing the devil's godchild, dressed in heels and a sexy smile that can seduce you or reduce you to nothing just by walking away after she plays your game of cat and mouse. Watch out. Still a warrior in a black mini-skirted suit. Smooth as chocolate ice cream. Nice as your last wet dream. Sweet as your first gentle kiss. And able to bring battle or bliss, depending on your intention. Speak now or forever forfeit your redemption. Too many deaths to mention has hardened her once beautiful soul. Too much bullshit has made her grown cold. Want now only comes from the sword shine. A futuristic fighter in today's time. Fabulously fierce a terror and heels. Showing the wicked... How does it feel? How does it feel? Combo of Pam Greer and the Black Mamba. Movements of that like a sexy samba. Doesn't matter the age. Sage always gets better with time. She allows you the fantasy of sipping the wine as she distracts you from seeing the verbal knife moving closer to your neck. Still call it cocky or confident. She shows you the respect of looking you dead in your eyes and showing you the sword before it strikes. Let's call for the truth tonight. No dice. Then slice. Next time, think twice before you mess with this stiletto warrior. Bitch. Him. That's why I stay in the light these days. Because clowns, well, they come out in the dark in many ways. And I don't particularly like clowns because they remind me of Chucky. Except with red hair and a big nose. But I suppose the main reason is I just don't like the dark. Driving in the dark, riding in the dark, flying in the dark, being in the dark. None of those things are good. Darkness is understood to be a one-way street to hell that nobody wins. Too many sins to clean, too obscene, too many souls who no longer dream. The cream they are skimming off of is nothing but shit. And that's just something I'm not equipped to deal with anymore. The stench is just too much to bear, and don't nobody seem to care what happened to our hopes and dreams and remembering when we were kings and queens, and now we are all kinds of dreadful things like pimps and hoes and thugs. Remember when there was real love? Damn. In any event, 
with my eyes watering and my body contorting. And I'm not even the one who's snorting. I'm just getting a whiff of it all, like the smell of constant doodle balls that are dropping all around my head. And I'm beginning to wonder, is this life? Or life in a men's bathroom stall instead, because this is not acceptable. Plus, you leave me with no paper, you nasty motherfucker, you. And that's when I told the tidy bone man to kiss my ass. Flush. so soundly, so peacefully, when all of a sudden my dreams are interrupted so briefly by you. Why am I dreaming about you? Why is this dream so vividly clear that makes me get up screaming, get the hell out of here, get out of my damn head? Okay. So, phone calls go unanswered, emails get deleted, texts get trashed. And my friend is playing my song in honor of my freedom. Don't call me no more. Don't text me no more. Sorry, I've been through this once before. And it's um, just how I operate. Have to separate the mess and stress from the blessed. And purge the drama from the dream. And speaking of dream, with every imaginable door closed... It would seem you found a new scheme to enter my world and once again try to make me your girl. What kind of fucking trick is this? Okay, let's get it all out. What's interrupting my bliss? Yes, I liked the taste of your lips and the way you used to grab my hips still. The cost of pleasure wasn't worth the price of pain, especially pain I could not tame. You, my brother who wanted to be my lover and protector and king, could not even accept or respect your queen. Everything I believe you tried to destroy. Every purpose you had came with some ulterior ploy. Your words say that you would love me like no other, but in the long run, you couldn't accept and rejected mother. And there would be the problem. Perhaps why you can't solve them. Those urges of going back and forth from Bible to Becky. Wanna be saint and wanna be sexy. Got you conflicted and twisted and I just won't deal. So whatever was between us had to be killed before you killed me. And yes, I take that confusion quite seriously. You don't want a bride, you want a bitch. One who's able to submit to all kinds of tricks. But where's the treat if I can't be me? And where's room for my spirituality? Submitting to father, making mother the whore, ain't never ever gonna happen. I told you before, so... With that being said, get out of my head. Physical doors have been closed, so you try another instead in my dreams. (laughs) A sister's not fallen for this trick or this plan. The devil is a liar, and in this case, so is the man. And still, the answer is no. Don't care, don't matter, don't want you no more. And with that being said... Boy, bye! Okay, so this is a story about dealing with those demons that's always trying to block your bliss. You know, they say that hell is below, but really, hell, just like heaven, can be right here on earth. Just depends on who you're watching or who's watching you. And I see you. I see a devil. Yeah, I do. I see you. 
around this corner. I see. I see you trying to steal my last dime. I see you think you're going to get my shine. Yeah. I see. I see you standing there looking scared, wondering how did things get here. Yeah. I see. See that you never cared. Yeah. It took a little while, but now I'm quite aware. And I see. That you just talking smack, never had a sister's back, just trying to be where I'm at. And I see that you were never real, just wanted to cop a fuel, but now I know the deal and trust. I see, I see you bubbling, or is it more like blubbering, saying nothing once again? And I see, you thought you had me, but you didn't, didn't know that it was written that you'll never win. And I see, you chose a trick, I chose a treat, you catching hell, I get to eat, and now you come to me. I see, well, step it back or hit the tracks before I have to lay a smack and put you out. Up in the I see you, but you didn't see that I'm coming, did you? I see you. Take whichever one applies. I see you. I see you, though. Trust me, I do. I see you, and this message is for you. Yeah, got me just choking, wondering how I do it, but with God on my side, I just do it, do it, do it. And just for the record, get it right for the books. Yeah, the name is Val Jones. Got the whole world shook. And I see you. I see you, devil. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I see you. <laughs> you really just not much to see. You know what I'm saying? I see you. But you know what? Let me say this to my stars. Because I see you. And this message is for you, okay? Searching on a planet where there was no love. Tried to figure out the message from above. Understanding that knowledge is the key. But the enemy doesn't want you to see. So apparently, the obvious remedy to fulfill your destiny is you gotta let him be. Throw the sign up and just tell the devil, pucker up and kiss it. Get behind me, Satan, because I see your dumb ass, okay? I'm just saying, tricks never last. And I see you. Is that some fire behind that town? Looks like you're the one that's catching hell, huh? And I see you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do now. I see. I see all those tricks that you've been doing. Oh, so much love. So much love. Really? That's what you call love? Well, that's some twisted kind of love. And you know what? That's the love I can do without. So I'm just going to go back to being me. See? I'm the VLJ when you yes. Just I am the best at what I do. And that's about reaching you and teaching you and slightly short of preaching you. I want to drop this attitude to think on. See? Um, back in the day. No, I mean black in the day. We weren't afraid to be ourselves and be it on the way. But now today, we just want to get our smoking and our token and our drink on. Really? Ew. Wow. I'm just saying... I gotta be me. And if you're trying to get in my way, <laughs> well, I wouldn't advise you to do that today. But you can try. You can, you know, go ahead and do you. <laughs> but please believe me, it's true that I see you. All the tricks, all the lies, all the alibis. I see. But you know what else I see? I see me and all the beautiful things that's around me. And that's what I'm watching, because you're quite boring. <laughs>